You're watching Talking About Orcs. Hey everybody, we got a real quick video here talking about the Ludas and the Aegis Defense Line. I kind of alluded to this in the Luda part of the video, but we're going to illustrate here and see what's going on. So here we have an Aegis Defense Line. Unfortunately, I have a full gaming table here. I just have my uh, display board. So I set up an Aegis Defense Line. As you can see, it's actually pretty big. This display board is 30 inches wide, this direction. So you can get quite a bit of uh, coverage with just a single Aegis Defense Line. This is four little pieces and four big pieces, which is what it says to use in the rulebook. Now, when you're planning on using this, now what I've got here set up is... So what I've done here is I've made three units of ten Ludas uh, behind this single Aegis Defense Line. And why ten? Well, it's obvious because ten Ludas aren't fearless. The problem is that fearless units cannot go to ground, and you want to be able to go to ground here behind the Aegis Defense Line. Because the Aegis Defense Line gives you a four plus cover save, and if you go to ground, you get plus two, so a two plus cover save. But when you go to ground, you can still snap fire. So if someone shoots at a unit of Ludas, uh, you're going to be able to get a two plus cover save and still fire back. You know, you're only going to be hitting on sixes, but uh, who cares? The problem with this, of course, is fortifications is that when you deploy your fortifications, if you go through the full set of six edition rules, fortifications happen before any terrain. So if you set up your Aegis Defense Line, figure out where your deployment zone, a savvy opponent will drop something line of sight blocking in front of your defense line, like say, a big old building here. And it's going to cut off part of your Aegis Defense Line uh, from line of sight. So that's something you need to account for. So even if you have this whole thing set up, maybe you have on hand another piece of forest or ruin, you can put in a third unit uh, so that they can still benefit from the Aegis. Of course, if you play a train first, you will want to make sure that you get as much stuff in the way of your Aegis as possible. Let's say something nice, a nice no-lying uh, rocky feature like that to prevent your opponent from putting something in big that will block line of sight from a majority of the Aegis. Uh, as far as where you want to deploy these things, let's, you don't want it right on the edge of your deployment zone, obviously. You want it a little bit back, so that way if there is a piece, because, you know, if you put the, uh, if you divide the table up into six, six uh, two by two sections, say this is the border of a two by two section, then there's not going to be enough room for a terrain piece right here, so your opponent will have to put one all the way out here, which gives you a little bit more uh, firing lanes than you would have otherwise say if this was a line of sight blocker building, big old building right here. Being a few inches out is going to give you a better uh, firing lanes than if, if it was right up here. Also, the thing to remember something like, the reason why I have these guys all the way up against the uh, wall here is I have them touching the wall for hive guard, to be honest. Hive guard is the only thing you have to worry about, but as long as they're touching, the, the, the guys in front are touching the ages, they'll still get the cover save, uh, even from hive guard. So, if you are playing Tyranids, which you'll probably see a lot more of in the future, thanks to Psychic Powers, uh, you will want to keep your Ludas uh, safe right up against touching the Aegis Defense Line. So that's just about covers a real quick video trying to illustrate how I plan on, t on setting this thing up. I'm actually going to try this out this week. Um, I'll probably be playing 1750. Uh, that's train for Warhammer, Airy, not Hot Wheels cars. <laughs> I don't care. And so I'll be trying it out probably 1750 this week. And I got a tournament. There's a tournament on August 16th. that will be the Dawn of Sixth Edition tournament at, at Guardian Games. Um, I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. Okay. Real quick video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>